All right, here we go. Let's uh, see what the mirror says. This is uh, when I woke up this morning. I was pretty, I was pretty tired, so I didn't even like really check like much. I, I feel like I'm holding a lot of water because I'm sick. But all right. So I'm seeing a little bit, a little more of the, the separation in the quads, just a little bit. You know, without, once the hair removal begins, uh, we'll be able to see a lot more, but, um, but still, you know, that's, I can see signs of some separation there. I can see the outline of the abs a little more. Um, I feel like there's a little more fullness in the upper chest, a little bit more in the shoulders. See a little more coming in here. These are, I'm just taking you through the things I'm noticing. Um, I've also noticed that my legs are, are starting to take a little better shape. Mind you, all the things I'm saying, um, I haven't arrived, but these are the little subtle differences, very, very, very subtle differences that I can see. Okay, so I'm, I like the, the hamstring there, the mass there that I'm, I'm able to keep at this point. And uh, this I can't see obviously, but that's for you to see in comparison to last week. Again here, what I'm seeing is um, fullness in the upper chest, shoulders. Uh, this hamstring is not as maybe as, as thick, full as the other one. Uh, but I, I still see an improvement um, from other years, from what I remember it being in other years. So I'm kind of interested to see as I come down how well I keep that and um, see a little more separation here with the outer quad. Okay, now we go into the mandatory poses. <clears throat> I'm seeing this is a little flatter, but you know, as, as, as the weeks go by, I get even more critical. So even though I, it looks flat, I, I'm never, I never feel that, okay, good, the work's done, I'm done, I've arrived. Every time I see improvement, it's like that thought is followed directly by um, a comparison of what I look like on stage. So when I see this and it's going down, it's getting flatter, I'm getting tighter through here, I automatically think of my what I look like on stage and I'm right back into... You know, this, you know, I, I got to keep working. This is so mediocre. I got to keep going. So it's just kind of a way of uh, me not, not, not falling, uh, you know, for that trap of celebrating prematurely. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm happy with this, uh, but I still, you know, in the whole scope of being in shape, this is still poor. <laughs> so let's do some mandatory poses. On this front double bicep. Front lat spread. I'm seeing a little, again, upper chest, more striations through the chest, starting to see something in here. Okay, this is... Uh, the side chest. So a little more separation here. I could see the hamstring a little more. Side tricep. This looks a lot better once the abdomen is real tight. Now, <coughs> excuse me, uh, rear lat spread. Rear double bicep.
Now, most muscular. And my favorite, not really, but abdominal uh, uh, ab and thigh. <clears throat> so, like I said before, it's hard to breathe when you got all this congestion. But um, yeah, in general, I'm happy with you know the the way that I'm coming around. Um, I'm noticing more striations in different places um, as I go along. You know, tricep a little bit, little things. You know, but in the whole scope of uh, being on stage, or not. I mean, it's poor, but it's progress along the way. And as long as I'm not standing still, I'm. I'm happy, you know, kind of, I do my best and let God do the rest, you know, that kind of thing. So I just have to be honest with myself whether I'm doing my best or not. So, yeah. And another thing I've kind of noticed, especially training with Mike Davies, is that, um, you know, I've been able to keep the width of my back because um, I don't have a really wide back um, and I have high insertions of the lats. So, um, you know, when I start getting leaner, I lose that. I look kind of up and down. And I'm keeping that a little more, you know. It's important for me to keep that, that width so it looks like that X-frame come down to my waist out with the thighs. So anyway, just a little extra information there. Now, I'm going to weigh myself. And... Uh, See where I'm at. All right. So I was like 225, you remember last week, right around there. So I'm 227.4, so it's a two. Point four. So, you know, even if I'm holding some water, um, I'm still at. Uh, so even if I'm holding some water, I'm I'm still holding steady at 225, which is not so bad considering I'm going to be on stage around 215 or 218. Um, you know, and I've got 10 weeks, so that's just a pound a week to lose. Um, but like I said, I was you know I was you were kind of, I was kind of borderline. My losing muscle now, you know, with such a quick drop. So I think again, like I'm kind of regaining some of that fullness. So I'm not too worried about that, but that's definitely in the back of my mind. I want to make sure that I don't, I'm not, you know, going backward like I'm putting on fat, you know, which would be kind of difficult to do with in the way I'm eating. But um, so that's kind of a good thing, you know, as long as the mirror confirms that there's progress looking at the scale and seeing you go seeing it go up could be a good thing you could be putting on some muscle just because you know you're resting more whatever it is in this case I think it's more water retention and you know me just being sick um, having a little abdominal distress that kind of thing but um but yeah so I, I'm not worried about that but definitely something uh, to address next week and kind of see okay I was you know I started 225 went up to 227 I wonder after this next cheat meal what nine weeks out is gonna look like on the scale and what it's gonna look like on me alright so now uh, uh, first meal and uh, which is uh, if you remember grapefruit and uh, since it's Christmas Eve uh, got to uh, had to go do some last minute stuff, of course. And uh, then uh, Christmas Eve service with my daughter. Give her, give her back to her mom. 
which is always difficult on Christmas Eve, and uh, then get her back Christmas Day so she can enjoy my cheat meal with me. Maybe I might even have some friends over. So, uh, so let's go have the first meal.